What is up, everyone? Welcome back to our next Tuesday topic. Today, we're going to talk about concussions, uh, brief, brief explanation about what they are and kind of how we quickly evaluate um, on field or um, during a practice or during the field of play. So concussions, basically, we similar to, to a whiplash mechanism, we can get a rapid acceleration, deceleration injury. And with, with something like whiplash, we would see you know some sprain, strain, some overstretch, stuff like that. Basically, musculoskeletal injury. Uh, whereas concussions, are a similar mechanism, that rapid acceleration, deceleration, but instead of the, the musculoskeletal being system being overstretched, uh, we'll get a nervous system injury. Uh, similar concept, overstretching of the brain, kind of that 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 quick injury, um, kind of a, a layman's term way of thinking about it. But how that manifests is is more important. So. If that were to happen during a practice or during a competition or event on field, us as, as clinicians, we have to kind of make a quick decision on, you know, do we need to fur further evaluate what's going on or is, is this uh, player athlete, are they safe to keep, keep playing? So we can go through a quick A, B, C, D, E, F uh, kind of checklist to, to, to quickly in a couple minutes assess, does this, does this athlete need to be evaluated more or are they good to play? So. Alert, alertness, awareness, do they know where they are? Do they know what's going on? Um, their behavior balance, are they, are they acting in an erratic manner? Um, can they keep their balance? Um, stuff like that. C, cervical spine, cardiovascular. So we gotta rule out cervical spine fracture. We gotta rule out something that's, that's not, a, not a concussion, maybe coming from the cardiovascular system. And, and the manner in which things happen oftentimes will give us key indicators there. Dizziness, um, we can do some rapid eye movement, some, some tests like that, that can maybe spur on some of the dizziness or hopefully not. Exertion, we can have the athlete quickly do, do a couple sprints, um, see if, again if we can spark on those symptoms or see if they can even go back to play. And then follow up, whether that's during the game, you know, give, give me a tap on the helmet if, if you need to come out, or after the game, we'll, we'll do a more, more intensive follow up and kind of see, see where they're at. But, um, th this is a quick checklist from Dr. Jim Bovard up in Vancouver of how we can evaluate quickly on the field uh, during a competition if, if that athlete needs to be evaluated further or if, if they're good to go. But um, having baselines of, of some of this stuff prior to competition, prior to the season is another big, big component. But um, this is kind of our way to quickly say yes or no, are they good to play or not. If, if they're not good to play, then, you know, Maybe they need to see a clinician and kind of get something figured out. But um, basically, that, that's our quick checklist. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, guys, as always. And we'll see you guys next time.